Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. In this video, we're going to be experiencing something quite a bit of different. I'm going to test two projectors. Both of them are ultra short drove, but this is in the second hand market. You can find these in 250 to $300 range. And this is my Epson EB685WI. I reviewed this beast. I call this a beast because this is 720p, but you can't really measure it when you're playing videos in the same size with this Xiaomi. I made a comparison before. If you have watched the channel, you probably bought one of these. But in this video, I'm going to do something different. This is a 720p, but 3,200 NC lumens of power, very powerful three LCD projector, and I love it. But I have too many projectors, and probably I will sell a couple of them. This is probably one of them. But in this video, I will do some comparison with the best screen possible. What this video give you as an idea, cheap projector with a high-end screen and also laser new generation 4K with the high-end screen. What's the difference going to be? So this will affect your total cost if you're planning to create a home cinema setup while you can use it like this in a lit, quite a bit of lit room, you're seeing me, right? This is extremely light up room. So lights are on fully. This is my living room. If you're going to think that you got, you can use a big screen with the projector, whether it's laser or secondhand bargain style ultra short drove, this will give you the clear idea how much of a budget that you should be looking out for projector and the screen. Of course, let me just tell you in the beginning, if you buy the most expensive projector with the best screen, then you will get a better result. This is a 4K laser ultra short drop projector with 1,600 ANSI lumen. And this is 3,200 ANSI lumen. So this is more powerful. And it was giving better images when on the white screen, because these are tend to design to use on schools in daylight. But how about in the ALR settings? How much contrast difference these two have because this one has HDR, this one don't, this one has a 4K, this one don't. Generally, uh, in, in my earlier tests, I couldn't tell the difference when the videos are playing and the games are playing with the Epson and the Xiaomi 4K, but in this video, you'll get a clear idea. So in the end of this video, you will have like, hey, what kind of a budget should I spend on the projector and what kind of a budget should I spend on the screen kind of idea. So stay tuned until the end of the video. By the way, this scene before the comparison, I'd like to talk about the test. I'm going to use the Forza Horizon 5 intro. Some might say, hey, use more than a couple of videos, but I don't want to get in trouble with copyright issues. This is a 4K game console real-time rendering. So I won't be having a copyright issue. Also, the scenes are giving me contrast, bright images like this, dark images, dark scenes, and also very HDR style, bright and dark lights, contrast, everything what we are looking for. And it's also a short scene. So this is like a, probably 50 seconds of footage. So that's why I'm comparing with the Forza Horizon 5 in case you're wondering. In the video, you'll see some like split screen uh, with the Epson and the Xiaomi. So you'll get a better idea how much difference do they make in the same scenes as much as possible. By the way, the lights are on at the top of us and it's crazy if I look a couple of seconds. I kind of like see the lights in front of my eyes more than 10 seconds. I have other lights around the corner of the room. You probably know the light setup in my house if you have watched my other videos. So I will close the uh, top light just in front of the screen right now and test one light close. One only one side of the room is open and then this light is on. I won't go to the dark, fully dark room setup in this video because I don't think it will change, but maybe I'll change my mind and edit inside of the video. Who knows? So stay tuned. And by the way, this scene is shoot HDR, 
but I won't be shooting in the rest of the video HDR footage because right now you have to see me and the screen together. But if I shoot the HDR, you probably see these places sort of like a darker gray, but I see kind of high black, pretty much black, very close to black. Like I, I can see the little bit of toning, but this is kind of like a very black, but this is like a very dark, dark gray, but you probably see a little bit of lighter gray because what the HDR does, HDR just takes down the highlights a little bit and then pushes the darks a little bit to create a HDR space, but it won't do the justice to the Epson 685WI and the, uh, this uh, Xiaomi because Xiaomi has HDR and this does not because it's an old projector and probably this Epson will give us a little bit of, uh, let's just say bright image but it's not going to create the contrast that this laser ultra short drop does. Uh, to show you that, I need to shoot not HDR. So that's probably it before the test. I gave you all the information. So let's dive into the test stage. The first test is starting with the Xiaomi in the lights open. Right now, the room has probably about 700 lux of light so normally you don't watch tv or projector in this light setup because it's like you have to squint your eyes and it's overexposed all over the place but camera settings are tend to uh, catch the image quality as much as possible and you're seeing the furniture is like let's just say a little darker and the background but with my eyes, I can clearly say wall is blown out white. So if you think that you're seeing kind of like a little bit of a, um, let's just say a little darker room. No, that's not what my eye sees, but we have to calculate the camera to the settings of the screen. Otherwise the screen will pop up too much. This is the Epson. Uh, EBW, EB 685WI in extremely lit room setup and you can clearly see this is a good proper image 92 inch image and you can use it as a TV daily basis and since these Epson models designed to use at schools for daily basis they are tend to be like a rock solid like a build like a tank so to speak so you won't be having any trouble. They have huge dust filters and they have big fans. Uh, I made detailed review of this projector if you're wondering. So if you find these projectors as bargains, don't waste your time and buy them directly. So this will give you the clear idea. And you're going to see the Xiaomi and the Epson side by side and you'll get a clear idea of the contrast levels and what HDR brings, uh, Xiaomi brings with the HDR. And also you'll see the difference between the 4K and the 720p. That's no, nothing to be, you know, missable when it comes down to the text and the sharpness and detail overall. But uh, when you consider the price, you can accept everything. And this is the Xiaomi Ultra Short Draw with the Vivid Storm ALR. The top light is closed. You might be seeing the white furniture and the wall as kind of like a little darker. But with my eyes, I can clearly say I can see the furniture as a proper white still. 
and everything is lit up i can read books in this light setup if you watch my other videos you probably know the light setup of this room by now but if you haven't you can watch the other videos but right now we basically have the tv contrast with the xiaomi as much as possible of course so by the way while i talk about it you will see the similar visuals from the epson together the split screen uh, that will demonstrate you the quality of an Epson uh, with the very low budget of course compare the Xiaomi and you can buy of course better projectors than the Epson like a full HD models and more brighter maybe HDR supported like a full HD models but this will give you the idea the hardware that i with the hardware that i got this is the top light closed and the left light of the room is opened with the epson e 685 the eb 685 wi and uh, as you can see clearly this is a pretty much bright image brighter than the epson probably if you split screen it uh, but the thing that we are seeing is the overexposed areas are much more than the Xiaomi because this projector doesn't have HDR and when you see it side by side you know better than I see right now and that's why you're seeing overexposed it's not just about the camera settings Epson is really really bright much more brighter is not going to be the always the better being better kind of like case but my eyes is seeing a little bit better than what you see at the camera because some things are missing of the camera settings. Like we tune the camera to the Xiaomi because if we tune the camera to the uh, Epson and go back to Xiaomi, Xiaomi will look uh, extremely dark, but it's not. So that's like a, we can't shoot HDR to make, uh, you know, not justice to both of them. But overexposed uh, scenes are much more obvious in this uh, Epson model. Uh, this is single light open and we will finish with the last test uh, so you can have a better idea. In this part of the video, I'm trying to show you the dark room settings. Right now, this video is shoot HDR and you can clearly see me. I can read the uh, text on the Epson EBW685i. I can even read the small text on these stickers on it. So I can read clearly a book in this light setup. What do I have in this light setup? One Philips Hue bulb over there and one Philips LED strip two meters under this couch and also one two meter of Philips Hue LED strip uh, beneath this TV unit. This is right now working 65%. If I push it to the 100%, this room will be lit quite a bit of usable in the daily terms. And I have another Philips Hue light bulb, which I can open up, but I didn't open for this purpose of this video. This is pretty much usable room setup by the way when the uh, when the lights are highlighted more on the screen you can clearly see the room is kind of like quite getting very bright so i can see this furniture proper white one last thing you are seeing also the viewing of angle of this vivid storm alr and the xiaomi ultra short Pro 4k i can watch it like 178 and if i go like this i can clearly watch near 180 inch let me just hit the gamepad button again to show you the highlighted image. This part of the video has been shot HDR to make you understand the lit 
environment of this room because if i shoot it without hdr i can't present you but if i shoot the rest of the video hdr if it won't do the justice for the comparison so for better purpose of the comparison of these two projectors and the vivid storm lr i had to shoot rest of the video a little bit of darker to your eyes and you will see the wall different in the full dark room setup like this but actually in reality this room is not a pitch black dark room this is a mid i for me this is a mid level of dark because if you dimly lit this room i can close this light and i have two light strips i can still see what i eat still see my hands my gamepad and stuff but i won't be able to read books but with this light setup if i push it a little bit more even i can clearly read anything so that's how good this room right now I hope this gives ideas so you can continue the comparison in the rest of the video. In this part of the video, we are seeing the Xiaomi Ultra Short Throw 4K in a mid-level of lit room. What I mean by that, we have two uh, Philips Hue strips, two meter strips, and also one Philips Hue uh, light bulb, and they are uh, probably uh, at 60% of light, and I can clearly read books in this light setup. If you're thinking you're seeing a dark wall, no, the walls are quite a bit of lit, and I can read books, like I told you. So I will shoot another separate video, what the room condition is like when I am in it, so you'll get a clear idea. I, by the way, I moved the gamepad, so that was the uh, reason of the darkening. Uh, the console was making the screen a little bit of dark after a while. So what I am seeing, the furniture is properly uh, half lit. Uh, uh, so don't think this room is a pitch black kind of room. No, it's not. So you're going to be watching with the split screen Epson EBW685i and Xiaomi 4K in the same uh, mid-level of lit room environment. And that will be the probably the end of the test because I don't think we need a pitch black room. So we're going to go to the conclusion. In this part of the video, let me just talk about a little bit from the Epson menu. Uh, I couldn't fit the image as low as possible from the same distance, but I want to fill the screen without the distortion with the Epson. So uh, some of the visuals at top is cut and I see some stuff about the wall. I will later on also shoot some of the videos like this to make you understand how much of a percentage. Like I can lose 10 centimeters up top of the screen. And I will also open up not the nor uh, right now we're not in echo mode by the way as you can see the normal mode is on. This is the bright as possible with the Epson of course. So if you're wondering that what settings that we are using, by the way, the Xiaomi, you can't do much more of a stuff. Uh, the sharpness is 16 and it's like pushed up because this is a 720 pr projector. So it wouldn't be justice without extra sharpness with the Epson. So when I'm, while I talk about it, the video has already started and you're going to be seeing the Xiaomi and the Epson EB685i, by the way, I have to move the gamepad again. So this is the visual of it. I think probably if you focused on the text on the right bottom, like the start game and the accessibility, you will think this is 720p and the full HD somewhere between, but you won't be thinking this is a bad visual. By the way, this is a 92 inch screen and Epson cannot create more than this. This is it. For 720p, you shouldn't be going much more. And also the focus doesn't go that way. So this is built about 90 to 95 inch, kind of like a projector, but Let's just be real. This is 250 to 350 dollar range. One of the cheapest ultra short throw projectors you can find, and it's 3 LCD. It's bright.
Welcome to the end of the video, the conclusion, the most important part. If you have watched this video until now, you are an enthusiast like me and home cinema true lover. And you are always welcome. I'm glad that you watched this video until now without skipping, right? So, what do we have as a conclusion? This is the cheapest ultra short throw that you can really find in the market. And this is 3LCD Epson. It doesn't have to be the same EB685WI. You can find different models from the Epson or NEC uh, or probably Vivit's, Vivi, uh, Vivitar kind of like. There are different brands. Uh, and they have like educational purpose projectors. These are interactive projectors for schools built to last long, like a tank. So you can't probably break them and it, they are easy to maintain. And I made this uh, projection in special. I reviewed this. Uh, it is a long review, but you will get the full experience of what it can deliver. And I also compared it with the Xiaomi, quite a bit of detail. But in this video, I just wanted to show you what it can deliver with the best screen possible. So Vivid Storm ALR brings the table, the content of where we can, we, we are going to be able to use it as a TV. And I sold my TV. Right now I'm using full time this projector setup with the satellite receiver. And I'm using this Xiaomi Ultra Short Row 4K daily basis. So that's my new setup. So what do we have? What kind of options that we have? I believe in total in the end of the video, what I think is, uh, I'm going to come to the comparison of it, but Vivid Storm LR professional screen brings us one thing for sure. We can use this setup in the lit environment like this. This is a crazy lit environment. The lux level is around my hand, 700 lux, which is crazy. You can shoot close up videos and detailed shots like professional commercials. This is a extremely lit room. So it brings us to be using this in the lit environment it does what it has to do but if you don't need the lit environment setup and if you're going to create a man cave like a dark room setup if you can close all the lights you can't skip the part of the alr screen you can literally use a good projector and spend all the budget into the projector and create the best image in the darkest room but if you're going to use it in the living room like me or any kind of lit environment, kind of like a semi-lit, mid-level lit of environment where you can read books or see the stuff around you quite a bit. And believe me, it's more eye refreshing. If you use too much of a fully dark room setup, like a couple of hours every day, like a TV or watch the TV shows in a dark room, it will just make you more tired after you watch just that TV series or the news because having having the uh, projector set up, cinema set up for daily or general use and also the cinema use kind of like a different things. You can darken your room later on if you go with this setup and you get a better blacks. And I have a uh, detailed video about this in the channel. You probably find it around the corners or at the bottom of this video if I just publish it before this video. But the reason is if you, if I haven't published, just subscribe and try to find out the other videos. But uh, one thing is for sure, you're going to be able to use it in a lit room. And if you're going to use the fully dark room, then you can skip the part of paying the money to the screen. But if you're going to use it like me in the lit room, in the dark room, in general, you can use it as a full setup then if I were you, probably I will go buy the screen, Vivid Storm ALR style professional ALR screen. It doesn't have to be exactly this, but I will go for a professional ALR screen. The motorized ones has advantages. I can shoot maybe another tutorial about this, but I will go for a cheaper projector. The reason is you can upgrade the projector much more easy because it is easy to carry, easy to sell than a screen. And this is a 720p, but it's difficult to explain. This is not a full HD kind of good quality. And also later on, you can sell this and buy a full HD, pretty good. Maybe even with the HDR kind of like technology uh, has technologies in it in the second hand market because people want to upgrade 4K. You can buy a bargain in the full HD series too. Uh, 
with maybe better specs, better contrast than this Epson. This is an educational purpose, and this is a quite a bit of cheap projector, but a good one. So if you have the budget, you can always go buy a laser LED new generation like this Xiaomi or maybe Optoma, BenQ, ViewSonic, whatever you like. You can have Jamie Go or for movie there are a lot of projectors ultra short throw projectors out there but the main issue is if you go this setup your price will be quite a bit of low and your budget i understand this is an expensive screen and comparing to this projector but you'll be able to use it in daily basis and when you upgrade your projector you'll be much more happy and get yourself getting yourself a 4k tv like me hdr tv like me and if you don't, what you will lose? Well, you won't be able to use it in a light lit environment and you will lose the perfect blacks. I created another video you will find around the corners or in the end of the video or in the channel in the future because lights, light is bouncing back from the ceiling and the walls and the ground if you don't have a darker gray or black uh walls or ceiling if you haven't created a perfect man cave style when you watch a high highlighted scene like this the whites are bouncing back to the ceiling and coming back or going uh, below like the furniture and bouncing back what this alr does is it's preventing the around lights bouncing lights from coming back to the screen and it creates perfect blacks in the dark room so even if you have a dark room alr brings a lot to the table so it's up to you to choose your budget but if i were you i will think about my scenarios and if you are going to get rid of the tv you will have the advantage of going small back and forth because i made another video you can go small with your projector and create a tv style 65 inch maybe 75 inch TV size, and then go back, create something like this 92 inch. That's the option, but you can't squeeze or enlarge your TV because TVs don't do that. So that's my conclusion. In the end, it ups, it's up to you whether you should be using on the dark room or lit room like me or daily basis. But don't forget it, using a long time in the dark room just affects your eye uh, eyes and also it will be more tiring but you can dim the, dim the room lights and create a mid-level of room, mid-level light room. And you can live up like a daily use as a TV with this screen and projector combinations. Budget is up to you. The technologies is up to you. Uh, if you like my setup, you can ask detailed questions. And if you want to create a setup with the projector and the screen, you can still ask anything. If I find time, I try to answer the questions. And if you have created setups before, and if you have some sort of knowledge about this topic, you can write down at the comment section to help people out. Because it's more like a, I want to build a community to help each other to create a best possible home cinema setup as low budget as possible. Because if you buy the most expensive stuff, you, you can definitely create a best uh, picture possible. But what I use is 4K Xiaomi Ultra Short Throw. This is $1,600 and the screen is about $1,500 range, depending on the size. So it's about 3K, but still half more, less than half of the price of a new 92, 98 inch TV, 4K TV. And I can shrink it down. And if I close the screen, I got a bigger image because this screen I will create another video about this it has a two scenarios because it is probably distance like a five or six fingers kind of space from the wall even if i you know push it uh, as much as close possible to the wall like kissing the wall kind of close so this brings us another eight centimeters or maybe even more i will measure it later so if i put this screen down i have even bigger image i have a couple of options i can go smaller by getting close I can go big like this screen, whatever the size that you choose to buy when you buy the uh, Vividstorm LR or any kind of LR like this. And when you close it down, you got another size. So that's, that's how it is. No TV can give it to you.
If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe. If you find them long, you can fasten my videos to two weeks and you can still easily understand. I guarantee that. I hope to see you in the next video, Home Cinema and Tech Review. And don't forget to comment. It supports the channel. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.